Hey, thanks for stopping by the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be working on a water system. I bought two Coleman water filters that I'm gonna be putting inside this, uh, this fifth wheel. Um, but if you have questions or comments, please uh, uh, leave them below in the comment section. Um, and I love to respond to people and learn from other people as well. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please like it and hit the subscribe button and maybe the notification bells so you'll be notified of videos like this in the future. All right, so here's the water cabinet. Um, I'm gonna put the filters back behind here and it's um, really simple. There's only four screws. So I'm thinking of putting the two water filters on this bracket right here. This seems like a nice sturdy spot to put them. So then I'll be able to like replace the water filters back in this area. It looks like there's plenty of room. Got a piece of wood mounted up to the top here. Got all my holes pre-drilled for the, the brackets and the water filters. So now I'm just gonna install it here and then install the piping. is a 10 inch big blue whole water sediment filter. It's a five micron. Um, this is a 10 inch by 4.5 inch. About six of these on Amazon for like 30 bucks. So I can't find a better deal than that. So if you know one, let me know. First, I guess uh, it's not about getting a good deal. This is about high quality. I'd rather have better quality and a higher price than a good deal and crap.
pressure test. Take one. <laughs> So far, so good. The second one's filling up. Yes. Oh, that's a drip. <laughs> so far, just one little drip right here. Hmm. Drip, 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 drip. I guess I need some sealant on those two. In there. Test number two. Uh, I tightened that and those two. So we'll see if that did the trick. Oh, I still see a drip back there. It's on the other fitting like this. Test number three, water test. So I'm mostly finished up. I um, am not going to be able to put this panel on right now because we are using it for a puzzle in the house. <laughs> um, but if this was, um, it, it'll look like this, just a nice carpeted panel that goes right here. Um, so the whole thing will be kind of enclosed. You'll be able to see it. It doesn't take up any more space inside here, which I don't have a lot of space anyway. Um, but this is the final product wasn't too difficult. The only hard part was just um, making sure there's no leaks. It took about three different uh, times. I had to shut the water off um, and then uh, had to drain the two hoses and then um, take them apart and then just seal off. The, both of these things, they both leaked. Um, I probably just didn't get them tight enough and I didn't put any uh, plumber's putty inside here. Um, I thought that the, that'd be a tight enough seal, but it's not. I'm gonna have to do something down here. They do have a drip pan here, but I'd like it to come all the way out to here so it'd cover this entire area. This is the water pump, um, and I'd like it to actually come out and cover this entire area, just in case these do leak. Um, it would catch all that water and it wouldn't go down to the baseboard. You can see there's a hole down there for all the wires, and it um, could potentially just get soaked if this all leaks at some point. So I might have to just get a uh, large drip pan like this um, and then cover the entire thing down here. So that might be a new project for another day. All right, that's it for this video. Marvin says thank you for watching. And he also recommends to hit the subscription button and what, the notification bell? That's a good idea. If you have any other questions and stuff, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I will answer anybody's comments and uh, try to give you as much information as I know. And if not, maybe you guys can collaborate with other people down below. And there's another dog over there, so we gotta go.